Metal Up World, this is CJ, the Metal Motivator, cjortiz.com and metalmotivation.com. This is the first of a new five-message series I'm doing entitled The Battle for Happiness. Now, this is being shown in my Life Domination online coaching program, which you can learn more about if you visit the link below. The Battle for Happiness. You might have seen the movie called The Pursuit of Happiness. What it's more like for most of us is a battle. It is a struggle to find happiness, a struggle to be content, a struggle to find fulfillment in life. It just seems we are so dissatisfied. It just seems we are so unhappy, so many people unhappy. If you watch what's going on in the news, if you see even what's going on on social media, so much hatred, so much division, so much strife. We are literally devouring one another because we are dissatisfied. We are unhappy. And a lot of the things that we are unhappy about are politicians, the state of our country, class divisions, racial divisions, gender divisions, religious topics, strife, division, things that separate us. But these are all that are external to us. Who sits in the White House is something external to you. And it's a shame that we let these things which are external to us determine our state of mind, determine our emotional well-being. But is it really that? Is it really just the politician? Is it really just the political or cultural issue that is shaping the way that you feel? Or are there some things that are more deeply rooted? You can bet. You and I are in that battle for happiness. The question is, will we win it? The question is, will we find that elusive satisfaction? Will we find what it is we're looking for? What I'm going to talk about this week is that happiness does not come from the outside. It's not something you drink. Happiness is not a pill that you take. Yet we are all quickly becoming a medicated society. We are attempting to escape our pains and things through whether literal synthetic medication or anything else that is pleasure-based. We introduce these foreign elements and they alter our sense of reality, but it gives us a false sense of satisfaction. It gives us a fleeting, illusory, fake form of happiness. It's that illusion and when it dissipates, when it finally wears off, guess what? Life comes right back to kick you in the teeth. That's what the battle for happiness is like. We catch it for a moment and it dissipates. But it doesn't come from the outside, does it? You have, and this is what I want you to really understand in this five message series. You already have the capacity to be happy. And I want you to really, really think about that. You already have the capacity to be happy. You see, it's not what you gain in life that brings you fulfillment. It is something that you lose. It's not something that is added to you that brings you satisfaction. It's something that you release. The secret to a gratifying life is found in destroying what you were in order to manifest what you've always had the potential to be. Now, this is a little inverted from the way most people address this topic. And I'm not saying anybody else is wrong. I just want to offer this to you for your consideration. Happiness is not something that you're going to gain. It doesn't come by something you add to your life. It comes by something you let go of. It comes by something that dies in you. You gain by losing in a way. You already have, as I said, the capacity to be happy. It's a matter of releasing it, man. Happiness is not going to come from the outside, is it? Nobody's going to bring you a bottle of happiness. It doesn't come in alcohol. You already know that. That's all temporary. Hangovers eventually come. Drugs aren't going to do it. Relationships aren't going to do it. Possessions aren't going to do it. Position, power, none of these things are going to do it. They help. 
They're good things. I'm not saying any. I'm not saying you know having the job you've always wanted is is not going to brighten your life. I'm not saying you know the old saying, money doesn't make you happy. Sure, money doesn't make you happy, but it will make you happier. Right? What's the old saying that says, um, "I've been poor and I've been rich, and rich is much better." I'm not. I'll grant you that, but really. Where does that happiness come from? It comes from inside you. You already have the emotional wherewithal. You already have the emotional capacity to be happy right now. Now, part of the reason why we don't progress in life is because we won't let go of certain aspects of ourselves. Think about that. One of the reasons why we don't progress in life is because we will not let go of certain aspects to ourselves of ourselves. We hang on to these things. We grip them tightly and we don't let them go. But think about it. What we are right now hasn't gotten us to where we want to be. Right? What you are, all that you have, all that you do, hasn't gotten you to where you want to be. So how could it get you there if you, if you don't have that within you right now, then there's something you need to lose. It's not something that you need to add to your life. It's something that you need to lose. Granted, there are, there will always be things that we add to our lives, new habits, new traditions, new ways of thinking. All of these things are additions to our life, but what's hindering you is something you already have. What's hindering you is who you are. It's the way that you think. It's the way that you process. It's the way that you believe. It's the values that you have. Something inside you, something that's already a part of you is what's hindering and holding you back. Therefore, you will win the battle for happiness when you lose the battle that kept you hanging on to what you are. That battle that you're in right now to hang on to what you are, when you decide to lose that battle, that's when you'll win the battle for happiness. So the secret to winning the battle for happiness is to lose that other battle. Lose it and you'll gain so much more. So that's what we're talking about all this week. You already have the capacity to be happy. You already have all the power that you're ever going to need. We just need to lose some things. We just need to let go of some things and change the way that we think about this. So all this week, five episodes. In episode two, we're going to talk about that gaining by losing. We're going to discuss that the true secret to finding true and lasting happiness is when we lose something about our life that's keeping us down right now. In episode three, we're going to talk about ridding ourselves of the past. Get rid of that past. You can't erase the past, okay? Uh, there's no way that you can erase it. There's no way that you can, can zero base your memory and you do have no recollection whatsoever of the past. So what do we mean when we say ridding ourselves of the past? It's always going to be there. So if you're going to truly get over your past, you really only have to do one thing. Change the way that you interpret your past. If you can change the meaning you keep applying to it, you'll rid yourself of the past's power over you. You can't rid yourself of the past, but you can rid yourself of the power the past holds over you. That changes with interpretation. Episode four, we're going to be meeting your other self. Naturally, if you're getting rid of your old self, as I said, getting rid of some things, that means your new self is going to emerge. Who is the new you? What part of you that are you going to hang on to? If there is that capacity inside you for happiness, what does it look like once it emerges? And finally, in episode five, we're going to talk about the battle for happiness. People want it, but it always seems to escape them. Why? It's because they're looking for happiness in something outside of themselves. That's why they can never get a hold of it. That's why you can never find happiness, because you won't find it outside of you. It's a capacity you already have within. And when you change your thinking and processing and the way you interpret your life and your past, you'd be amazed at how contentment and fulfillment begins to settle in. Can you dig that? 
I hope you can. So join me all this week. If you'd like to see the rest of these videos, then I show them in my Life Domination online coaching program. It's easy. You can be a part of it today if you want. Just visit the link below, metalmotivation.com forward slash Life Domination Coaching. This is CJ, the Metal Motivator. And remember, in whatever you do, don't suck. Metal up.